Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about my channel. Hello to anyone that's new and welcome. Thank you for joining, and I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button. I hope you'll find the content interesting and helpful, or at least inspiring, and you might hit the like button and feel free to share with others. But I was... When I first started this channel, it was called Annette's Kitchen, because that's just kind of what came in my head, Annette's Kitchen. And I did it, and I ran with it. And it was all right. It was doing okay. And then I started to think about why I had started the channel, and part of it had to do with health and nutrition and change of life stuff, and learning how to adapt to those changes, and learning how to prepare food only for myself when I don't have a large crowd of people coming or kids coming by, you know, being the whole empty nester thing. But then, you know, thinking about all that, I changed it to cooking for one because before I had this channel, I had a friend who had uh, cooking courses that he called cooking for one. And before he passed, he passed, he gave me his uh, recipes. And that first time that I was on YouTube, it was just, in honor of him, and I was just going to do that one video and be done, but I found it to be enriching and rewarding for me, and I hope that it's enriching and rewarding for you all as well. I get it that some people want more spicy foods, and I still like the spicy foods, but I realize that some people have grown up in cultures where their food is not really so spicy. I mean, given where I live, it's more of the norm for people to eat things that are more toned down in flavor. But I still like my spicy food. So that's why I may talk about the recipe one day, and then I'll add my own little secret spices to give it that little zing that helps me feel, you know, satisfied with what I have. And anyway, so name was Danette's Kitchen, and I thought about that person who gave me those recipes and, and who was doing cooking classes and things before he had died. And I changed it to cooking for one in honor of him. But, you know, now when I tell people to look for cooking for one, apparently there's a bunch of people or videos on YouTube that are tagged as cooking for one. So I am making my ultimate final <laughs> decision and I will be changing the name, uh, modifying the name, to a version of the two mixed together. So it will become Danette's cooking for one. So not trying to confuse anyone. I just want to put something out there where it is easy enough for people to find the videos or if I mention it to someone that they can actually go in and say, oh yeah, okay, I can find it. If I'm just telling someone and I don't have um, tablet or phone or something nearby, then I don't want them to have difficulty trying to find this channel. But please feel free to share the videos and connect other people so that the family can start to grow and that we can do more interesting things. And I'd love to hear about things that you would like for me to prepare on this channel or whether it's dehydrating food, talking about the root vegetables, talking about the dietary changes that have helped me uh, improve my own health and well-being. But tonight, we're going to do one of those recipes that came in that box the other day when I did the box, you know, my weekly box opening. And so I have their recipe card, but I'm going to modify it a little bit. It's a recipe for a crunchy veggie stir-fry. So if you want it to be crunchy veggie stir-fry, Leave out the meat. But tonight, I am going to be adding Kevin's Natural Foods Thai Style Coconut Chicken. Bought this at Target today. I'm going to be adding this to it. This simple package, which is easily microwavable or cooked on the stove top, um, is three servings of meat. Three servings of protein here. I only need one serving, so I'll just be doing the one and putting the other two aside, and we will be doing it on the stove top in the wok. So 
aside from whatever meat that you might desire to be in your portion. If you don't want meat, that's fine. You know, you can do it without adding meat. You can do it strictly as the crunchy veggie stir fry. We'll also have one bunch of bok choy. And this is a cute little baby bok choy. You can tell because it's about the size of my hand. Some bok choy, if it's left to grow a long time, will become much taller, but then it makes it a little more tough to eat this bottom part. And it's all good. If it's grown for us, it's all good. We're able to use all of it. No waste means that it's much better for you, me, the environment, and everyone all around. These are garlic scapes. Looks odd. Got a little bump in the middle. Three garlic scapes. The garlic scapes are the tops of those bolts of garlic that you get in the store. We are used to seeing the bolts of garlic where you can buy one or you can buy a sack full of them. Well, this is the tops that they cut off before they bag it up and try to sell to you. And yes, this is all good. We don't need to be wasting food. This is good and it actually has a really unique but delicious flavor. So if you have garlic scapes, let's go for it. If not, you can see if you can find some in the store, or you can try to work with the above garlic, but it will, it will not be the same type of flavor as me. Three scallions. Three of them. They've got the bowl. Roots are still hanging out there, and you've got your green tops. The recipe does call for some uncooked rice, but I'm not going to do rice in my recipe today. What I will do is half of this average size carrot, and by average size, I mean it's like it would have been like 10 inches long, but I cut that in half and I'm going to slice that into small, thin pieces to use. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. And if you're cutting back on the sodium, you can make it two instead of three. Two inches of ginger. One tablespoon of sugar or some kind of sweetener. And it should be three stalks of celery, but they didn't have celery to put in the box, so I was really happy that I've been dehydrating my stuff because I could substitute my dehydrated celery for what would have been fresh celery in the box. That's one thing, one of those benefits of dehydrating because sometimes you think you have everything all together and you find you're missing something. This way you can add it and not be missing anything. Okay, you also want to have some kind of oil. Some people use sesame oil or, or oil. I stick with what I'm used to and what I'm comfortable with, which is olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. You know, prices and stuff is going up, but if you can get you a good bottle of olive oil and use it at a minimum, helps things go right through you and it, it makes a, for a really good meal. And if you wanted to add rice, you can have cooked rice that you could add later. You could do the dry rice and cook it all in there, but I'm just not going to do rice today. I just want my veggies and my meat. Um, and as far as sweeteners, you could use maple syrup as a sweetener. You could use honey as a sweetener. You know, it doesn't have to be sugar. You do have different options for adding that little tangy flavor.
almost like a little flower on the inside. easy to slice it up. I'm going to add a little oil to my wok. Add like two tablespoons of oil. One thing I like about woks is that it'll heat evenly and fairly quickly. And then that's where you can Work on the food that's in the middle, push the other things up on the side while you're working in the middle until you get everything to a point where it's ready to all be together. That, I got my oil here. I'm going to put it on the burner and turn it really low. I'm turning it on the second dot, if you know what I mean. Very small. If you're working with an electric stove instead of the gas, just turn it down low between between low and medium. You know, just really low. So now I'm going to cut up a scallion. No but the rest of it Pieces. I can pop the rest of this up in there. And the garlic stick, I'm going to slice them very thinly. Nice little slivers of garlic. All of that is going to give such an amazing flavor. That's not overbearing, not overpowerful, but it After this is a little crunchier, I actually lock the knife a little bit, holding it right there between the blade and the handle, just like a beginner. Be sure to keep your fingers out there.
Well, you can see that it's about an eighth of an inch thick, nice thin slices. So that way it soaks up that flavor and blends. all this really extra healthy food that I do prepare. Since I'm putting in rehydrated food, I'm, I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of water. But for the regular fresh celery, outer skin from this garlic and then I would chop the garlic up thinly and add it in not the garlic the outer skin from the ginger and then I would chop it up and add it in because ginger will give it a nice zing ginger is also something that's really great if you're making an early morning pick-me-up breakfast drink it's better than most manufactured energy drinks there and it's all natural it's real easy even if you don't have a vegetable peeler you can set these down and it's just scrape with the side of the knife down Ginger is 
root vegetables, you can see these kind of woody, and when you're cutting it, you've got some See, it's coming along. Pretty good time to have this coconut chicken. As you can see, it has that status. And you can see the chicken and then the coconut is actually flavored back into the salad. And just cutting it in a strip so that the chicken is easier to work with and in reasonable serving sizes. You can probably get this in a couple of nights and start to be tomorrow. And honestly, the chicken is already pre-cooked when you start. That's one of the nice things of getting the meal package here. That way, if someone doesn't have the time to prepare the chicken and get everything out, they can get a jump start on some personal. If they do have any time, they can do it tomorrow. What can our case? Hey, I can turn it. Started off with the heat down to like two low, and then that was just very quick. Too quick later, overcooked. I want to be able to have everything get done together at the same time. If this chicken that I'm using was raw, then I would actually take that and.
do that first. So the chicken was done. And then I would add my vegetables and and the sauces and seasonings and everything. But because the chicken was already pre-cooked and packaged, where all I had to do was microwave it or heat it up a little more. It just makes it a lot easier to get the rest of it. And it's not over soggy, which is nice, you know, because of the vegetables and the other things that's in there. It becomes a more complete meal, all in one dish. One dish, complete meal, it makes things a little bit easier. On some of these strips of chicken that have been smaller. That's nice because then you know what you're going to work with. You know, maybe you don't like the same things that are like, maybe you don't like the spicy things or other things, the hot things. You know, you could just say, yeah. That works. You could also put in a microwave. That works too. So you have to prepare the meal with the things that you really enjoy. Because this is such a simple one skillet, one dish meal that people could just insist on that. You could even add broccoli, honestly. Think about it. What do you have in your fridge? What things would go together well that you can use to prepare a meal like this? You try it out. Escapes give a really nice added touch of flavor. But having the curry and the soy sauce and the sugar together, it sounds odd, but it's really delicious. And even the carrots are prepared just right. So, consider giving it a try. When was the last time you made stir fry? And this is a curry chicken, crunchy stir fry, veggie stir fry. I mean, I still had celery, but the celery was from the dehydrated celery that I had. If I wanted to add onion, well, I had the scallions. But I mean, like other days when I prepare other meals, Sometimes I'm using raw, fresh onions. Other times I'm using my dehydrated onions. Because, you know, right now, there has been, things have been kind of slow as far as food being harvested in my area. So even like getting my box, expecting everything there, and then seeing, oh, there's no celery there. There was also no cucumber for another recipe that I had. But thankfully, over the weekend, someone gave me some cucumbers so that I can do that other recipe that I have. But I hope that you enjoy this meal. I hope you take time to give it a try yourself at home. And don't forget to treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. 
as Danette's Cooking for One.